Okay, 17, draw your parentheses. So we got one and five, well, one X, five X, and then for six, I got one and six, two and three. What do you wanna try first? Let's try two, three first this time. Okay, check the outer, what are you gonna get? 3x, inner, 10x. Okay, 3x and 10x, could I get a seven? Yeah, yeah I could. So, kudos to me for picking right. Um, how could I get a positive seven? A minus plus. Okay, so what should it look like above? A plus, then a minus. A19, draw your two parentheses. And for our first one, we're gonna get one in, three in. For the 10, I got one and 10, two and five. What do you wanna try? Patrick, what do you wanna try? Two and five. Okay, check the outer. What are you gonna get? Five in, enter. Six in. What a five and a six give me a 17? No. No. Okay, so now you gotta say um, five then two. Okay, you gotta flip five before you can cross something off. Okay, check the outer, what are you gonna get? Two in, enter. 15 in. That works? Okay, how can I get a positive 17? Plus, plus. plus. And I don't wanna call you out, but that is kind of my style. Okay, um, you said, oh, let's just try the other number. What happens if you accidentally tried the other number? Would you have gotten it? No, okay, you need to make sure that you flip flop before you just cross one off and keep going, okay? Because then what happens is, and it happens a zillion times every year, kids are like, it's not on here. Yeah, it is. Like, I tried everything. Well, you must not have, okay? And chances are um, they skip something without flip-flopping, okay? Okay, lastly, factor out the common factor out of each expression. This is what we've been doing, okay? It's GCF, okay? So if we look at 20, um, we can go ahead and draw your parentheses and put your signs in there. Is there any numbers to pull out? No. No. Okay, what about the B's? I got a 2B and a 1B. What's the smallest amount up there? One. That means I can pull out B1. <clears throat> okay, how many is the first guy going to have left? One. One. Second guy? Zero. zero. And so we don't, if there's nothing there, don't put a zero, okay? And you can put a B zero, but you can't put like nothing. Okay, and so you just put the a one right there. Okay. You could say one B zero. Okay, or if you just even put B zero, we know what is anything to the zero power? One. one, and so you could essentially cross this off and put a one, and that's how we get a one there. Okay, so this one's factored completely. Okay, last one, look at 23. Draw your parentheses and put your signs back. Okay, well, what are some factors of two? One, two. one and two. What about four? One, one and four, two. two and two. Six, one, one and six, two. two and three. What has the biggest match out of all three of them? Two. two. Okay, um, and just for a little trick, if we look at the, the number can be no bigger than a what? What could you pull out that's no bigger than a two? A two. Okay, because that's the smallest number up there. So if you look at 24, what's the biggest number you could possibly pull? A four. Okay, you can't pull out anything bigger than a four, okay, because 
you can't take something that's bigger. He doesn't have it, okay? Uh, so we can pull out a two, okay? Well, what is two, this two, look up here, two divided by two? One. One. Four two. divided by two is two. Three. Six divided by two three. is three. Okay, now let's look at the Bs. My first guy's got two Bs. He's got one B and he's got no Bs. What's the smallest amount? No Bs, okay? So that means we cannot take out any Bs. And so we're gonna put them all back in. So this guy gets a B squared and he gets a B or B1 and then the third guy gets none. Okay, you know you factored it right if one of the guys has none every single time, okay? Um, Okay, you guys got 12 problems to do. Get them done and then put them in the box back there.